Hello, my beautiful Gemini Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your August 16th through 31st, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is the energy of all Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. With that being said, we will move right on into the energy. We have the Queen of Wands and the World card. Very solid energy of boss lady get her done energy. So whether or not you're a supervisor, an entrepreneur, or someone who is that go-getter person, someone who's usually always ends up in charge, whether or not uh, you get the full credit for it, you're that person. Very fiery energy, very much in a place of type A personality, right? So solid energy here, being able to do things moving forward. So you're fully charged. Then we have the world card, which is the energy of receiving the kind of the award or reward for what you have been working so hard for. This is a come up of all come ups. This is a lifting you up into a higher realm. So that's when you get a higher promotion or you're being brought to a higher position or more money or all the above. We'll take it. It's a new beginning and stepping into the next cycle from a higher pedestal and you are in the light. So very good looks like a trophy doesn't it very cool here we go my Gemini's thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini Sun moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So your second cut card was the Six of oh, not the Six of Swords, rewind the ten of swords the ten of swords is the energy of being very much in a place of having the burden lifted off of you the feeling of attack or being bombarded or feeling like just everything has been just raining down hammers we're now going to be in a place of having that traumatizing energy pulled off so you're not going to feel like you're under attack anymore so clearing that cycle is a wonderful thing now we've got the seven of pentacles which is the energy of what you've been working toward now starting to bear fruit. It doesn't mean it's time for harvest, but keep your eye on it because it, that means it's coming soon. We have the Empress. This is the Divine Feminine herself. So you've got this beautiful energy of the new fertile fruit with the fertility of all existence. <laughs> this is the goddess energy of creation. So she is the life force itself and the new beginnings of all things that have ever been, will be, or are in existence now. So this wheel, the zodiac wheel that she has around her, is a framework and it's not filled in because this is the new, so think of it like a loom. We're starting a new weave of, our, of what we're weaving the tapestry of our lives. So whatever this new process is, this new event, the new beginning that we talked about earlier is coming in. So she's helping you to build that and put it together. You have the beautiful Gemini energy of the King of Swords, also Archangel Michael. So solidly in the masculine for the Gemini, the masculine energy, you see the feminine here, any, any of the queens or the empress are all about feminine energy, new growth, new starts. The kings are something fully developed. So having this king is amazing and wonderful. Besides the fact, it's Archangel Michael, who is our patron saint. As an air sign, that's our, that's our guy. And we have the Aquarius Major Arcana, the star card, which is the energy of new ascension energy, new growth, and your soul's destiny being told yes by divine. This is a yes for you to have exactly or move in the direction that you're supposed to be moving in for your soul's path. So we love that. The Four of Cups. This is a divine offer coming in. This card usually means it's something we don't quite recognize. Um, it is the energy of, of a blessed 
thing. But sometimes we think, oh, it's too good to be true or what's the catch, right? Um, and sometimes we don't recognize it at all because it doesn't look like what we thought it would. So don't say no to something just out of a knee-jerk reaction. Make sure to check it out before you say no, okay? We definitely don't want to toss out the baby with the bathwater. So, I always thought that was a funny phrase. <laughs> I had to realign myself, sorry. If I get crooked, it starts to bother me. And <laughs> here's the Eight of Cups, which is a yes from the universe to move forward. If you've been feeling stuck, you have now surmounted, overcome all these obstacles and or lessons. Anything that you had a challenge with, you have faced it and you are now on the other side of it. This is a fabulous energy. The universe is showing you with this moon, the entire horizon and all the possibilities that are available to you. I call this sort of a graduation energy because it lets you get past the things you were dealing with. And we have the moon. The moon is the energy of manifestation. It is Pisces moon and it's telling you to bring in as much light as possible to allow yourself to bring in what you're trying to manifest. Think of it this way. If you were having a baby, you would have to eat double the food for two, right? Because you're growing a human being within you. Well, this is the same thing, but in energy. You want to pull in enough light. So it's all you have to do is visualize white light and breathe it into your heart. Exhale it out into the universe, focusing on achieving the goal that you want and sending love and light out into the universe as you exhale. That's all you have to do. As many times as you can remember to do it, do it, because that's what starts this little clockwork. If you can see it up close, it is, a, is an innards of a clock there. That's a divine timing device. We have the two of rods, and this is the work section. So we have the career and finance. It also can mean uh, just choosing something that is to your preference. Remember, neither of these is wrong. It's just telling you, would you prefer this or this? These two paths are running parallel. And they're meandering around, but they're not going two different directions. So just stay on the one that you choose, what your heart feels is right for you, and you'll be fine. There's no wrong choice. It's like the universe asking if you want coffee or tea. It does not give a hoot which one you pick. It's all about what you choose. We have the Five of Wands, which is can be inner conflict because it looks like you're having trouble deciding. It can also be you and someone else against the, you know, whatever's coming at you. But you're not alone, so don't worry. I mean, you might get some bumps because they might smack you in the head with their stick, but it's not going to end you. And you'll be better for having overcome the challenge. It can mean competition for a job as well. There's the Four of Pentacles. So whatever comes out of this, you are financially secure and stable. Anytime you have a four, it means the stability of the four pillars. And this is the miser. He's not going to let your money like just disappear. So sometimes uh, when we're in a bind uh, or at a job that's barely paying enough to make it through, you have to, you know, get your check and as soon as you get your check it's already gone because everything's you've got to pay all the bills well this is assuring you that there's going to be some left in the bank so we like that the miser helps you to have some savings held back and this is also a good money sign we have the nine of pentacles absolutely happy energy manifesting with the garden of eden in mind remember adam and eve were not in fear of being in hunger or famine or any kind of, you know, their, the weather was great. They had all the food they wanted. It showed up like as if by magic until they started to question it and doubt. That's when everything went off the rails. So have blind faith that the universe is literally going to provide everything you need exactly when you need it every single time. Okay, so allow yourself to be fully in that energy so that you can move forward. Manifesting, remember, that's what we're doing. We have the seven of rods as your underlier here telling you not to settle for less than you deserve. And don't let other people talk you out of your, what you're feeling. Because it's, it might not be that they understand it. That's fine. It's not theirs to understand. 
if you've got something on your heart and you're moving toward it, don't let other people dissuade you. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine Guidance as always, and we bless this wonderful reading. Thank you for your presence, and we welcome your energy at, at all times. Thank you. Okay, so these are the ones that hopped out. We've got the King of Pentacles. That's a financial commitment being made love that energy it means very secure and he's offering the coin so he's there's your financial seat right now the five of swords is the energy of feeling like you know i'm really sick and tired of being sick and tired <laughs> i've fought every battle i've stood up you know to every single thing i've overcome every single obstacle i am stinking tired now that's fine you don't have to fight another battle but you don't want to give up any ground so it's not time to retreat. You can take a rest. You can put your feet up and recover and, and allow yourself to be fully in a place of rested and ready. But don't leave just yet. Don't you quit five minutes before your miracle because you have the empress right here who's going to bring what you need. There's your victory. So six of rods is coming through the battle victorious. You have the sun in the background. Always a happy energy. Very much so. So this means head and shoulders above the rest, being the front runner, having the hero's welcome. This is a ticker tape parade in your honor. So it is the high, high esteemed energy of victory. And your beautiful lover's card right here on your soul's desire or your soul's destiny being granted. Your card is the lover's. That is your Gemini energy. But this card also means your soul's mission in life. You're, you're actually on that path. You're actually doing what your soul has been called to do, which is fabulous. And that's Archangel um, Raphael up there guarding over it. Now we have Archangel Gabriel reviving something that you thought was off the table. So that's the offer coming in. Now this might be a new relation or relationship restoring itself. It could be a job restoring itself or something that you wanted to do previously that has you had been denied doing it whether it was taking a trip or whatever it is. You're now getting the go with the help of the beautiful seraphim. These three little angels are energetic angels and they are part of the alchemical process. So they are salt, sulfur, and mercury. These are the elements of the earth that the alchemists use to transmute things into more valuable things. So you've got the assistance of the beautiful seraphim there. And the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> the Ace of Swords is the energy of cutting through all that's been blocking you. Blocking your vision. Blocking your energy. You see the laurel wreath on top of the sword. That is a victory. Just like he's got laurel wreaths here. And that is the open energy of, of having what you need to see completely open. So that's this moon card now being revealed. We have the Eight of Swords. When we're making a choice here. We can get caught up in our heads a little bit. So allow yourself to get into to higher energy, which is this, this is why she's got a blindfold on. She doesn't need to look at this through her human eyes. Don't worry yourself to pieces over it, okay? That's overanalysis paralysis. Here comes the offer. So you overcome the competition. You may have two offers, which is why you're in this place. Whichever one comes with the money, you'll be in a, in a good place. Yep, four of rods, very much in a place of walking through the doorway. These people are very much part of your future, assisting you, welcoming you in. And this beautiful castle in the background is your future. So we love that. The doorway is open. And this card means good communication, solid foundation, and secure energy. So... You'll be working with people who you actually like. 
Now we have the death card, which is the Scorpio Major Arcana. He is the cosmic garbage man. He comes in and he just clears out all that negativity and toxic energy and all old trauma. And we just bag it up and throw it out. And there is the beautiful energy of the Magnolia Blossom, which is the symbol for renewal. So not only does he take out the trash, but he wipes the slate clean. So what a wonderful reading, my beautiful Geminis. Love, light, and abundance to you all. Thank you for being with me on this journey. And I look to m many more years of being together as we overcome fear and manifest our best possible lives now. Thank you so much for being part of my tribe. Namaste, my friends.